Welcome back. There's a lot of misinformation floating around about COVID-19, how it's spread, what's actually being recommended by health experts, and how it will affect our daily lives. So we have a new segment to help clear everything up for you. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis is here with our coronavirus fact check. Good morning, Kate. What are you looking into now? Hey, good morning, Eric and Nicole. So we are continuing to set that fact from fiction. This claim that we're looking at during our 6.30 half hour here is my utilities will be shut off because I can't pay my bills during this time. The truth this is fiction. This is not true at all. The governor actually issued an executive order stating you will not be disconnected regardless of your payment status. Utility companies, including gas, electric, and water, suspended shutoffs through at least May 1st. You can see that there on your screen. There's more specific information on exactly which companies are included. That'll be up in the Channel 3 app and WFSB.com. So you want to make sure that you are paying attention to that if you need those specific company information. But we're all um, <clears throat> Connecticut's Public Utilities Regulatory Authority suspended any shutoffs for both residential and non-residential customers again through at least that May 1st date. Pure also ordered utility companies to reconnect anyone who was previously disconnected during this time. Now not all companies are regulated by Pure so if you are a utility company if your utility company isn't on that list check with your company directly. Also a good thing to know at this time this also applies to internet service. The governor's office says virtually every internet provider in Connecticut it has pledged not to terminate service and waive any late fees for customers during the emergency. They also pledged to open all Wi-Fi hotspots to the general public. As so many people are now working remotely and students are learning online. So if you can't pay your bills at this point, you don't have to worry about it right now. Services will be provided regardless of your payment status. And I just want to recap in case you're joining us right now here at 649. We've been fact checking some of these claims throughout the morning. The first claim we looked at, the ability to hold your breath for 10 seconds is a test for coronavirus. That's not true. We also looked at the claim COVID stands for Chinese originated viral infectious disease. Also false, it stands for coronavirus disease 2019. If you have anything you would like us to look into and fact check, be sure to send me an email.